What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm a high priestess intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Capture Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. And I want to disclaimer this real quick before we get started into the reading today. I am not interested in dating. Just to let everybody know. No, I don't want to date. Um, I've already gotten several messages. I'm not interested in dating. I don't know why people seem to think I am. Is it because I don't have full custody of my kids anymore? Well, that doesn't change a damn thing. Just uh, for a hardworking single mother, just to let you know. Um, I'm still not interested in dating, and I haven't been for a long time, okay? So I, I feel like I need to disclaimer that, okay? All right. So the channel message I received was, um, <clears throat> a missing child um, is about to become very significant soon, and a death related to poisoning is about to become very significant. A huge investigation is about to occur with the death related to poisoning. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So a missing child is about to become very significant. So I feel the child could have already come up missing or they're about to come up missing. Uh, missing child. So they're either already missing in the universe or they're about to upcoming become missing. Um, I think of the Center for Missing and Exploited Children, um, which I did. Uh, anybody that, well, y'all know if you uh, have been following me on my platform since my birthday, 725 of 2022. I was 39, just saying, um, Leo son. But I did a Facebook fundraiser for National Missing Children, Missing and Exploited Children. Uh, that's my favorite fundraiser ever. Um, it just is um, for me, for my birthday, which I, it didn't raise any money, but um, I tried, just saying, just saying. But anyway, so yeah, so um, some kind of missing child is about to become very significant, either already missing in the universe or about to come missing, and um, a death related to poisoning. I heard a huge investigation is about to occur with the death related related to poisoning. So you plug it into your own life, how it resonates. I feel for some, you could know this missing child, uh, the child's already come up missing, or they're about to come missing, uh, missing, and you know this, or you're about to be connected to it. Or help search for them. At least I hope you're on the positive side of this. And you didn't help them go missing. Um, or the death related to poisoning. Um, so I feel some of you guys are related to that. Or maybe you're investigating that. Or you're about to be investigating that. However that resonates and applies in one's life. Okay. I'm going to pull one card. I'm going to do some. Um, I'm starting a new series called the 24 Quickie. Uh, it's going to be a quick little three card spread. Uh, next 24 hours, and I'll probably start that in a minute. Mature woman. Lovers reverse, number six or 15 could be very significant numbers in one's life, number six or 15. It could be possible ages of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number, six or 15, mature woman. A very mature feminine energy in her 30s is about to get high on her soon. She should have years ago. Through many shocking series of chain events. Okay, I heard a mature feminine energy in her 30s is about to get um, high on her soon. She should have years ago. Uh, through many shocking series of, chain, series of chain events. So this is mature woman energy. She's in her 30s. So you can be 25, 35, 45, 55, or 65 and be very mentally mature. This person is in her 30s. She could be 30 to 39, I'm feeling. Um, I heard she should have years ago. Um, 
There was so many blockages, so many. But the bottom's about to fall out. There were so many blockages, so many, but the bottom's about to fall out. So she, the bottom's about to fall out, and she's about to get high on her. It might be maybe she helps locate a missing child, or she, um, or something of that nature, or the poisoning, uh, because we have a missing child already in the universe or upcoming in the universe, and a death. Um, either already occurred related to poisoning or is about to occur related to poisoning. Maybe she helps crack the case, find the child, um, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. She's in her 30s. She's very mature, mentally mature, and uh, I feel she takes care of her responsibilities. She does what she's supposed to do, um, pays her bills, takes care of her kids or kids if she if she has kids or kids, um, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, whoever this person is. I heard the bottom's about to fall out. So um, something positive is about to ha happen to her is what I'm presuming. Lovers reversed. She's very single and is not looking for anybody. Many people know this. Many positive things are about to happen to her in the universe. Many positive things. Okay, I heard she's very single. She's not looking for anybody. And many positive things are about to happen to her in the universe. Many positive things. So she's single, legally single. So if this is for you, thirty in your 30s, mature femme energy, you I feel you can be any sign. You're not looking for anybody. Nobody telling me. You're not looking for nobody. And um Many positive things are about to happen to you, ma'am. Um, whoever you are and how this applies. You're very attractive. You never got pretty privilege in the past, and you don't expect it now. And it's about to benefit you in a huge-ass way. Okay, I heard you um, are very attractive. You never got pretty privilege in the past, and you don't expect it now, and that's about to benefit you in a huge way. So, ma'am, in your 30s, you're very attractive. Um, so, you're very aesthetically pleasing. You look nice on the external. But whoever you are, I feel you're good on the internal, too. A wonderful person on the inside. Wonderful. A wonderful person on the inside. Okay? So, you're, you are inside and outside of a beautiful person. You are aesthetically pleasing on the outside, and you internally are a good person. Um, whoever you are. And I feel you are... Obviously, you're mentally mature, and I feel you um, are very, like, I think you're not only very attractive, but you're smart, which are the best is, that's the bombdiggity.com combination right there. When you're attractive on the outside and you're smart, and that's just the damn truth, just saying. Um, but I heard you never got pretty privilege, pretty privilege, I can't speak, pretty privilege in the past. So, people, um. They actually bullied you for your looks. But it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, so you're actually very attractive, ma'am, whoever you are. You're very attractive. Um, you got bullied for your looks. Um, so you never got pretty privilege. So you never got ups. You never got legs up. You never got um, incentives. You never got things just handed to you or given to you because you're very attractive. It actually was the opposite. You actually got bullied for it. But I heard that's actually about to benefit you in a huge way. And I heard you're not looking for anybody. So it's not like you're codependent and you're just trying to find somebody. I feel if you were to mesh with somebody, like I feel whoever you are, I feel you're probably not against having somebody in your life. It's just that you don't want just anybody. And you're not codependent. And that's beautiful. No, we don't support codependent energy over here. And that's just the truth. So that's really beautiful. I mean, unless you're child rearing, but I'm talking about adults. Codependency for adults is not no bueno. It's no bueno. Okay, I didn't hear anything. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helps. Let me see if I hear anything else.
The missing child is about to create many, 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 many series of time events. Many. Very positively for you. The missing child is about to create basically a crap ton of positive series of time events for you, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, you're a psychic investigator. You're a psychic investigator. You're a psychic investigator, I heard. So you're very attractive in your 30s, psychic investigator. The missing child is already missing or they're upcoming missing. And um, this missing child is actually going to create positive series of time events for you. So I feel you're going to help find this missing child. Or maybe the missing child comes to you or they contact you or you help locate this missing child, psychic investigator. How that resonates and applies. Okay. For one, you will receive an unexpected phone call soon. A voicemail will be left. You will call this number back. It will be very positive between you and this person. Very positive. Okay. I heard, so there's at least two of you psychic investigators attractive in your 30s. Who, who, whoever, this for, whoever this is for and however it applies. But I heard for one of you guys, you're going to get a shocking phone call soon. But it sounds like they're going to leave a voicemail. So you might be busy. You might be indisposed. Something will be going on. Um, but I heard you will call them back. And when you call them back, um, something positive, some kind of positive communication between you and this person is going to be very positive. Um, it might be regarding this missing child about to come up missing in the universe or, about, or already missing in the universe or the poisoning. There's some kind of poisoning that's either already occurred in the universe or is about to occur, and that's going to uh, result in a death. Um, how that resonates and applies, ma'am, that's really terrible. Uh, nobody should poison anybody. I hope they do an autopsy on it. I hope they do an autopsy, and that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have reflected. Occupation. I heard you're a psychic investigator. We got courthouse two, number 3423, could be very significant numbers in one's life, number 3423. You have helped so many people, so many people. The money flow is about to start coming in in a huge way. Okay, I heard, I heard you've helped so many people, so many people. The money flow is about to start coming in in a huge way. So, in this aspect, you are the psychic investigator because you're a psychic investigator in your 30s. Money flow is about to start really, really, really coming in. You're apparently very attractive. You never got pretty privilege in the past. You don't expect it, and that's about to benefit you. I heard, I heard actually, you it was opposite. You were bullied. Um, bullied for your look. So, people thought you were bimbo, basically, because you look nice, because you're aesthetically pleasing. But you actually are very, it sounds like you're very good at your job. And I heard that money flow is about to really start coming in for you in the psychic investigative realm. Courthouse. Someone's about to go to jail soon. They don't expect it. And it's about to benefit you in a huge way. And they're about to incur a lot of legal fees. A lot. Okay. Heard someone's about to go to jail soon. They don't expect it. And they're about to incur a lot of legal fees, a lot. So they're about to head to the courthouse, um, whoever this person is, ma'am. Um, they don't expect it. So I don't know if it has to do with the person about to give you the shocking phone call with the voicemail. I don't know if they're going to help them go to jail. Or if it's somebody that has poisoned somebody um, or is about to poison somebody. Or about the missing child either already in the universe or upcoming in the universe. How that resonates and applies, ma'am. Um, kudos to you, psychic investigator. Just saying, just saying. All right. Well, I love you guys. I hope this helps. And I'm going to say.